Hey guys, Dino here. I uh, yeah, Dino here. doing a Portal 2 walkthrough with some commentary. I saw some other dildo would put stuff up online. He was absolutely terrible, so I felt like I was obligated to do my own. This is my first playthrough. Um, I have played Portal 1, but this is the first time loading up Portal 2. There's no difficulty level or anything like that. Um, Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. So, <laughs> so far the difficulty curve is not too high. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move, I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might wanna hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? So right now, uh... I guess we're moving the entire building. I don't know. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, I see what you did you there. Feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay. Look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? I'm not gonna make it through, but out of space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one, I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good 
good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potential. So you can just see those uh, achievements that just popped up. Um, just to prove this is my first playthrough, I didn't actually do this once. And uh, play through again, pretend like I'm some genius or something like that. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse, the portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an aperture science material emancipation grade, which vaporizes most aperture science equipment that touches. All right, I'm just scoping it out, make sure it's safe. I wouldn't consider myself to be someone who's amazing at portal or anything like that, but uh, the other guy whose video I saw there today looked like he really was brain damaged, so. Lie on your back. Hopefully I don't look too bad compared to that. This is just the uh, first stage as well. Um, chapter one or something, so... All the puzzles are pretty easy. Um, Right now, this is bringing back a lot of memories of the first game, and I'm realizing that... Okay, you need to run in here, it makes sense. Oh, I'm an idiot. And you need to go get the block. I think the only downside to me for portals sometimes is I, uh, I kind of forget where I'm going Good. or where because I came from, I guess. We are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Sometimes I wish it had a function similar to Dead Space 2 where you hit a button and it tells you where uh, where you need to go. Um, something to reorient yourself, I guess. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to me. Should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh! Can you see the so this was actually confusing. The portal device dropped right so underneath me, right. and then somehow catapulted itself over here. Or it's a different one. I don't know. So far, so good. Everything's pretty easy. Kind of hoping it picks up a little bit here soon. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. 
to share. Good. If you feel that a legal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Uh, I left in the load times this uh, this time around just because I uh, wanted to get this out. Uh, it's a little late. Might edit them out next time, but they're pretty quick, so not a big deal. In three, two, one. Pretty easy. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Uh, just for anyone that's wondering, uh, there's no fall damage, so... In case you were curious. I'm hoping, I'm sure it will later, uh, start to liven up with some more, well, some more, some robots that will, uh, shoot at me. I get to shoot back, hopefully. So just playing around and then trying to figure out what does what, and then I can uh, make my next step. Realize that I walked right past this control. Need to hit it to go back and uh, release that block. Pretty easy. So now I want to release another one. And there it goes right down there. But I see another switch next to me, and I'm like, what does this do? Oh, clever. So there we go, block that. Easy peasy. I was just going to use my body. That worked. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. 